Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Alex and today I would like to introduce you the DocuPerformer, a tool that supports you in documenting SAP metadata at the push of a button. The creation of such technical documentation is one of the least popular tasks of an SAP BI developer. Why? Well, firstly, because it takes a lot of time and effort as the SAP standard is not a big help. And secondly, because it is difficult to keep them up to date. Because, let's be honest, who documents every little change in the system and updates existing documentation? We have solved these two challenges, as well as other problems in the context of SAP documentation with the DocuPerformer. In the DocuPerformer, the creation is fully automated and at the same time a continuous update takes place. The consumers of SAP documentation can therefore rely on the correctness of the documentation, which makes it a valuable aid. I would like to demonstrate how the tool works with two examples. Therefore, I will show you how you can document a single query and an entire data model in just a few minutes. So let's jump into the DocuPerformer and start with the live demo. The DocuPerformer is one of four products that can be accessed via the Performer Suite. What do we see in this initial view? First of all, we see a selection of supported system types down here. So we see here BW, S4, ABO, multiple HANA and an SAC system. You can see which object types the DocuPerformer supports per system listed on this slide. You can find more detailed information on our website and in our online user manual. Let's return to the DocuPerformer. I select this BW4 system and on the left side you can see all the object types that we support in BW. So you can see reporting elements such as queries or calculated key figures, info providers such as composite providers and ADSOs. We also support info objects, characteristics, key figures, transformation and so on. So as you can see, we support several object types that you can work with. I want to display all the queries of the BW system and click on the respective checkbox. This flat list is very helpful because I can easily search for certain keywords, work with wildcards and in this way I can find the queries I want to work with. What functions does the DocuPerformer offer? Well, first of all, I can comment on objects. This means I can right click on the object and click show edit comments to open the object's comment area. I can do that for every single object that is accessible via the DocuPerformer. What can I do in this comment area? For example, I can click on this chapter and simply add some text. The text can be business information or simply further technical explanations. This means that the knowledge that is in the heads of the colleagues can be collected here in the DocuPerformer. And this information can then also be integrated and displayed in the documentation itself. At the same time, we also check whether the comment is up to date by looking at whether the change date in SAP is newer than the date of the last comment. If this is the case, the comment status would be outdated and the user would have to adjust or confirm the comment. I now want to document this BW query, so I go to Create Documentation and choose a suitable format. We support Word, PDF, HTML and for some object also Excel as well as Confluence, which I will explain later. I will go with the Word format for now. The DocuPerformer now connects to the SAP system and executes a logic in the background that collects all relevant information about this query and integrates it into a Word file. Let's open the Word file. So first we see a document which is based on a certain template. This means that you can integrate your own Word templates into the DocuPerformer. Then we see comment, the comment that you saw earlier on the right hand side. This has also been integrated. Also the information that I added manually. We can now look at the technical information, meaning the system 
the name of the query, on which info provider the query is based. We can get information about the variables, so which variables are used in the query, but also if there is some custom exit coding, we can get some more information about this. We can check the calculated key figures and their formula. We see also the comments of the calculated key figures. We see the restricted key figures, including the restrictions, the filters, the free characteristics, the elements in rows and the elements in columns. So in a few seconds, the DocuPerformer has created a very comprehensive documentation that follows a certain standard. This means that, for example, the tables and the text are always formatted in the same way so that the documents can be easily compared with each other. The documentation is also completely text-based, which allows us to search the entire document for specific keywords. At the same time, we also have cross-references to certain elements, so we can jump back and forth. So we can get an overview of the query documentation very quickly. Let's go back to the presentation. We have now seen that single objects can be documented very easily, using a query as an example. I could also do the documentation for info providers, HANA calculation views, SAC stories or BO Lumira reports. In practice, however, it is more common to work with projects. For this reason, you would rather document all the objects that are in a certain context, for example, because they are part of a data model or a change request. The goal is to document these objects grouped in one file so that in the end you only have one document. This can be realized in the DocuPerformer with so-called scenarios. You can create scenarios, you can assign objects to a scenario, structure the scenario, and afterwards you can export the scenario. I would now like to document the entire data model of the previously shown query in the live demo with the help of scenarios. For this purpose, I return to DocuPerformer and first create a scenario. So I go to scenario directory here and I can select a suitable folder and create a scenario. I call this the procurement overview and I can also select a template so that I don't have to completely rebuild the structure and layout of my documentation. And then finally I click on create. In the next step I have to find all the objects of the procurement data model and group them in my scenario. So let's assume I want to document this query and the entire data model underneath it as well as the front end objects above it. To do this, I first display the data flow of this query because this is exactly how I get to the objects that are relevant for the documentation. So we can see all the objects underneath the query and we can also display certain objects that are based on this query. So now we see all the objects and I can select all of them. I can click on scenario assignment and assign all the objects to the previously created scenario. This means that if I now go back to my scenario, we can already see on the right hand side all the objects um, are part of the scenario. I will open the scenario so that we can take a closer look at its content. So first of all, we see the objects that are now all part of the scenario. We have three data sources that we see here, for example. We see info sources also here, three objects on this layer. So the documentation is structured, in this case, according to the LSA++ architecture with the different layers like EDW layer, reporting layer, and so on. I can make certain adjustments in the scenario. For example, I can remove certain objects that are not included in my later documentation. I can also add certain structure elements to the scenario. Um, these structure elements represent a chapter in the later documentation and can be filled with content at the same time. With this manually added content, I can add cross-object or organizational information to the documentation. In our case, helpful information about the data model in the introduction or um, information about the responsibilities and so on. 
When the scenario is ready, meaning a proper structure has been selected, additional information has been added and the objects have been assigned to the scenario, then it can be exported. During the export, all information as well as the technical documentation of all objects is integrated into one file. For this scenario, I already did the export before recording this video. Here we see the result. First of all, the document is also based on a Word template that has been integrated into the DocuPerformer. We see the title of the scenario and also the structure element introduction together with the manually added content. Next we see the entire data model in a graphical representation. This data flow is generated at runtime when the scenario is exported. So the DocuPerformer goes to the system and checks what the data model currently looks like and then generates this graphic. If we look further, we see the ADSOs, which have also been commented with further information regarding data logic in this case. We can look at the details and first we can see the info objects of this ADSO. We see the transformation under this ADSO, including the mapping. The documentation tells us if any formulas appear, as you can see here. And at the same time, a big benefit, we can also see the coding, in this case of the start routine. Let's have a closer look at the HANA calculation views, because the previous data model was a mixed scenario with a calculation view. Here we see the technical information on the calculation view, such as the columns, the structure, the various join conditions, and the included attributes, and so on. The documentation also contains an SSC story that was based on the query. So we get information about which models are used and which queries act as the databases. So in summary, we have received a really detailed documentation that contains all the important technical information. The export can also be done to Confluence by clicking on Export to Confluence. Then the document shown before is automatically uploaded to a Confluence page, which can also be selected in the DocuPerformer beforehand. We see the same content here that we have seen before, for example the assigned objects or the network graphic. We have seen with the help of two examples that the effort can be reduced tremendously and a complete data model can be documented with just a few clicks. But there is still one problem. Who ensures that the documentation remains up to date? For this we have the automation tool. If, for example, two scenarios should be documented continuously, then you can select them. You can define certain target group specific settings, such as the language or the level of detail, and finally decide when the export should take place and where the document should be stored. Colleagues then benefit from access to up-to-date documentation. For example, if a business employee want to check a formula of a key figure in a report, then she or he does not have to ask the BI developer, but can comfortably get the answer with the help of the documentation. Let's summarize what I have shown you. I've demonstrated to you that you can create documentation at the push of a button and at the same time enrich this documentation with further knowledge. So the problem of high effort is solved already. Company-wide templates can also be used to make work with DocuPerformer more efficient. New scenarios do not have to be designed and built from scratch, but are based on scenario templates. This standardizes the whole process and makes it easier to check whether certain changes have been made to the objects. At the same time, the documentation is text-based, so that documents can be searched for specific keywords. The documentation is also target group specific, as certain settings can be made before the export that affect the language or the level of detail of the information. The export process can be automated through the automation tools, so you can define when the export should take place so that daily updated documentations are automatically stored in a central location. 
I hope I was able to show you that this unpopular topic of documentation is actually manageable with the right tool. With the DocuPerformer, the challenges of documentation can be faced so that the benefit of the documentation is finally greater than the effort required to create it. You can also convince yourself of the functional scope of the DocuPerformer by testing it for 30 days. Feel free to contact us, we would really appreciate it. Have a nice day, bye bye.